let's lift a hand to heaven every single person lift your hand and just bless the name of the lord tonight wherever you are bless the name of the lord let your hands be lifted toward heaven let your hand be lifted everybody everybody my god Moshaka Prikatos. mighty man of war lion of judah we bow down and worship you yahweh yahweh come and do what only you can mighty man of war lion of judah we bow down and worship you Yahweh Yahweh come and do what only you can you got fire in your eyes nothing hides from you you see everything even the deepest secrets of man expose every evil consume every wickedness i consume in fire come and manifest yourself go ahead and bless the lord bless the lord bless his name we love you Jesus we bless your holy name tell him how much you love him just love him love him love him tonight there is nothing you cannot do protocol breaker there is nothing you cannot do Jehovah Vadu. I have tasted of your love. I have seen your mighty works. Mountain mover, my Lord, on your money, man. There is nothing you cannot do. Protocol breaker. There is nothing you cannot do. Over, over you. I have tasted of your love. One more time. Oh, there, there is nothing you cannot do. What a breaker. There is nothing you cannot do. I have tested of your love. I have seen your mighty walk. One more time. Oh, there is nothing you cannot do. What a breaker. There is nothing you cannot do. Jehovah, over you. I have tested of your love. I have seen your body works. Mighty move on my love. Oh, your money. We bless your wonderful name. Amen. In Jesus' name we worship. Amen. Take your seat everywhere. If you have a seat, you may be seated. What a God we serve. Blessed be the name of the Lord. All the sons of the prophet, sons and daughters of the prophet, God bless you. The best prayer you can ever get is God bless you. Most people don't understand. In God bless you is the fulfillment of every desire. God bless you. When Moses was to speak a word over the people in Numbers chapter 6, when he was to dismiss them, all he would say is, The Lord bless you. The Lord cause his face to shine upon you. The Lord lift up his countenance on you and give you peace. To so every son, daughter of the prophet, those who are connected to this grace, those who 
have been under the covering, I say to you, the Lord bless you. For those who have been instrumental to the putting up of this program, financially, kind, your time, your energy, the Lord bless you. Amen. The Lord bless you. Amen. There are so many things you desire of the Lord. Many expectations. There are many you can't even remember you need now. But as time goes on, you now discover you need them. Over such desires, I say, the Lord bless you. People don't know that when you say the Lord bless you, you are saying every good thing in life. You are saying that you are open for every good thing, to receiving every good thing in life and destiny. No matter the labor of a man, if the ground does not respond to you, you labor in vain. If you read Luke chapter 2 from verse 16, the Bible says, the ground of a good man brought forth plentifully. Thank God for hard work. Thank God for structure. No matter the principle you try to embark on, without the ground being blessed, all the protocols and principles will be in vain. So right now I say to you, the Lord bless you. <laughs> you have a dream, you have a pursuit, you have a desire. There's something you are asking of the Lord. Over such a request and desire, I say, the Lord bless you. <laughs> Wherever you are, way to the back, all over, from the sides overflows. I say this to you. Whatever your need may be of the Lord, whatever thing that has made you cry, whatever thing that has brought pain to you, and you'll be asking God, when will this thing be over? Today, I say, the Lord bless you. <laughs> I want to say to everyone under the sound of my voice tonight, that may God give you what money cannot buy. <laughs> there are things money can't buy. No matter the millions of pounds and euros and dollars that are peace you can't afford. I say to every one of you, under the sound of my voice, from my mouth to God's ears, the Lord bless you. <laughs> As I'm speaking, angels are at work. Angels are dispersing miracles, dispersing testimonies. Uh -huh. What is that heart desire? Oh. What is that heart cry? And you are saying, Lord, when will this story change? When will things turn around for me? over your life today i say the lord bless you the lord bless you the lord bless you in jesus name clap your hands for the lord hallelujah mm. one of the things you learn by submitting to this grace is toughness tough you can't follow me if you are not a tough person. If you are too emotional, you will drop on the wayside. Tough. You've got to be tough. That's what life is. You've got to be tough. If you are too easily, ah, 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 mm -mm, shift. Just go somewhere else. You've got to be tough because life is for the tough hearted. Only those with lion hearts get lion share. You know, life is not turn by turn. Don't let nobody lie to you. All of those balances and cliches. That we came up with life is turn by turn. Mm -mm. There are people that will collect their turn and collect your turn. They are so wicked. They will collect their turn and they will collect your turn. So life is force by force. Force by force. Am I communicating right now? So you've got to be tough hearted to handle the battles of life. Exodus chapter 3, verse 1 to 4. Ikapadia. Now Moses kept the flocks of Jethro, his father-in-law. The priest of Midian, he led the flock to the backside of the desert. He came to the mount of God and went to Horeb. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a flame of fire out of the mist of a bush. He looked and behold the bush burned with fire and the bush was not consumed. And Moses said, I will now turn aside to see and see this great sight Why the bush is not burned. And when the Lord saw that he turned, he first said, I will turn. God did nothing until he turned. When the Lord saw that he turned aside to see, God called unto him out of the midst of the bush and he said, Moses, and he said, yeah, am I the encounter? The encounter. Every choice 
of God is the target of the devil. When God sends you an assignment, Satan sends you an errand. Anytime God sends you to Nineveh, Satan makes a mobility to carry you to Tashish. For every assignment of God for a man in life and destiny, Satan opens up a counter assignment. The Bible says, Moses said, I will now turn aside to see why the bush is burning and not consumed. God was quiet until he turned. He said, I will turn. God did nothing until he turned. So, intention is not enough to turn destiny around. For you to get a turnaround, you must move from intention to activation until you activate your intention you can get revelation until revelation is moved into action motion is not possible there are people that get so many revelation they have so many revelations from god they are revelations about life they get revelations from the word of god but because they don't act on that revelation he said i will turn god was quiet until he turned so you can have revelation until you put them into action you don't get motion so revelation has to become action before motion is initiated until revelation become action motion is not initiated somebody shall encounter somebody shall encounter somebody shall encounter somebody shall encounter let me tell you about Moses. Moses was a man who had fire in his bowels. Even as a young man, he was born at a time where there was pain in the land of Egypt. He was born at a time where there was cataclysm and catastrophe in the land of Egypt. When Pharaoh who wanted to kill every male child that was born, that was the period God raised up the Hebrew women. The Bible says that Moses Moses, as a little boy, Moses was three months old when he got his mother a job. Moses was three months old when he hired his mother. 90 days of age. The Bible says the little boy was being kept on the ark of brushes. And the sister saw the daughter of Pharaoh and said, I'll go call you a midwife that would take care of this child you will pay. So Moses at the age of 90 employed his mother. A child of three months got his mother a job and you are 50 years old. Your family has not felt your impact. That devil is a bastard devil i come to prophesy that after you hear the sound of my voice wherever you are your family will feel your impact your generation will hear your voice your family will feel your impact your family will feel your impact financially they will feel your impact materially they will feel your impact somebody shout fire 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 somebody shout fire 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 somebody shout fire yeah, 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 yeah. And Moses, he grew up with that fire in his bone. And one time in, with that fire in his system, he was taking a walk. As he was taking a walk, he found, he found an Egyptian fighting an Israelite. An Egyptian was fighting an Israeli. An Egyptian was fighting an Israeli. And Moses stood in between them. He looked at the Egyptian. He looked at the Israeli. He looked at the Egyptian. Who was the Egyptian? The Egyptian reminded him of where he was coming from. The Israeli reminded him of where he was going to. When you are in between your past and your future, what do you do? He looked at the Egyptian fighting the Israeli. Sometimes your past tries to fight your future. He took out a knife and he killed the Egyptian. Cut off your past. Cut off where you are coming from. Cut off your yesterday. Cut off where you are coming from. There's a future ahead of you. There's a tomorrow ahead of you. There is a tomorrow ahead of you. Why we look not on the things that we see, for the things which we see are temporal, but the things we don't see are internal. Tell somebody, cut off your past. Cut off your past. Say, cut off your past. Cut off your past. Say, cut off your past. Say, cut off your past. Say, cut off your past. He 
had fire in his bones there was fire in his bowels the fire was burning in his bones i said when he killed the egyptian the fire was burning in his bones and one time he was between two israeli and they were fighting he stood between them and that was the, the, the two contention it was between the immediate and the ultimate and he said what do i do do i sacrifice the immediate for the ultimate it took a step can i surprise you it was the two israeli that got angry at him the, the same people he fought for the height of greatness is when those you have helped begin to fight you the height of greatness is when those you have supported begin to confront you it is a sign of greatness don't feel bad about it listen if evil people bad people hurt you it's a normal event it's a normal event if those you have blessed begin to fight you you are a great person such things only happen to great men when those you have invested in begin to conspire against you in in zechariah chapter 13 verse 6 what are these wounds i was wounded in the house of my friend the bible tells me clearly a man's foes matthew 10 and verse 36 are the members of his own house when there's a conspiracy and the confederacy by the very people that you trusted the very people you loved the very people you wanted psalm chapter 41 verse 9 I like what he said, uh, my own familiar friend uh, has dipped his hand against me, has raised up his heel against me. Hear me and hear me and hear me well. Uh, when they gang up against you, it means there's another side of God that God wants to expose to you. There is a side of God that God wants to open you to. There is a side of God that God wants you to get into. There is a side of God that is about to be exposed to your life. There is a side of God. God, that you are about to begin to assess there is a sign of God that's about to open up to you somebody shout I receive I receive I receive so he had that fire and he was moving he was moving with that fire in his bone he was moving that fire in his bone but when he got to the house of Jethro Jethro had seven daughters so God kept Moses in the midst of seven women to check his emotional maturity he kept him in the midst of seven daughters to check his emotional stability and as he was in the midst of those seven daughters God saw the uprightness and the sincerity God said it is time one time the Bible says how did they encounter them the daughters of Jethro went out and the Bible says normally it would take them days for them to return home and the, the Bible says they had enemies rise up against them and this time when they went out they got home early and their father asked them why did you come home so early they said we found a man it is the man that helped us do you know child of God if you must arrive destiny early you must find a man if you must get early to destiny you must find a man if you must enjoy speed you must find a man and the father said where is the man they say he's out I said no bring him home there are people you don't live outside you bring them to your life when God brings a man who gives your life speed you bring him home when God gives you a man who gives your life acceleration you bring him home when God gives you a man that gives your life projection you bring him on when God gives you a man that gives your life acceptance you bring him on and he had the fire the fire was burning in his mouth but one day it took the flux of Jethro and that fire he dropped that fire he abandoned that fire at that place called Horeb because that was where they gave him the assignment and he began to move with the flocks of Jethro the Bible say he, he, he kept them he led them 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 leaders are keepers he kept them he led them before you make someone a leader what has he been able to keep 
what has he been able to protect what has he been able to preserve what has he been able to maintain he kept them he led them he kept them he led them as a minister of god you don't just project people into position check what they have been able to keep what have they been able to maintain he kept them he led them them and the bible says uh, while he was leading the flocks of jethro he came back to that spot where he had left the fire the fire that was in his bones welled up and the bible says uh, he said i will now turn aside to see why the bush is burning and not consumed that is the kind of fire that we have of the lord the kind of fire that the holy ghost gives to us is the fire that burns the bush but does not consume the kind of fire we have is the fire that burns witchcraft but does not consume us the fire we have is the fire that burns disease but does not consume us the fire of the holy ghost is the fire that burns poverty but does not consume us the fire of god it burns scarcity but does not consume us it burns limitation but does not consume us it burns delay in marriage but does not consume us it burns spirit husband but does not consume us it burns setback but does not consume us that's the fire we have tell somebody go for the fire go for the fire go for the fire say go for the fire so moses got to that point the definition of moses's life began at that spot nothing counts without encounter encounter makes life count there are no great men anywhere there are only men with encounters no man is great in himself every high flyer is a product of encounter every high flyer everyone who commands life everyone of influence is a man who had an encounter let me tell five people you need an encounter 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 moses said what is this you see you see encounter begins with inquiry there are so many people they are so normal they are so complex you must get to a point when you look at some things that are not right you say what is this what is going on why is my life like this why is the work like this there are people who have no inquiry nothing moves them nothing challenges them nothing bothers them you must ask question if you study your bible it's a book full of question the bible says in luke 18 18 in mark 10 17 in matthew 19 16 someone met jesus he said good master what shall i do that i might inherit eternal life in acts chapter 2 verse 37 on the day of pentecost they asked the disciples men and brethren what shall we do do the bible says uh, in acts 9 verse 6 uh, when paul encountered god uh, paul asked the lord uh, what would you have me do in acts 16 verse 30 the jailer asked them what shall i do to be saved uh, the bible says in luke 16 verse 3 he said the potter said uh, my master takes the steward from me today what shall i do in luke chapter 2 in luke chapter 2 chapter 3 verse 12 chapter 3 verse 14 they asked john the baptist they said what shall we do am i talking to somebody here you must get to that point in, in matthew 27 and verse 22 pilate said what shall i do with jesus called the christ you must ask question you must get to the point of inquiry my life is not supposed to be like this what shall i do the ministry is not growing what shall i do finances are dry what shall i do i don't have the baby what shall i do i need an open door what shall i do i need a lifting what shall i do i need acceleration what shall i do i need elevation what shall i do i need impartation what shall i do so for every man you see today who had an inquiry he made up his mind to be on a search he was searching for something 
something he was searching for something in Luke 15 the Bible says the woman was searching for the coin the Bible says concerning the woman he said he cleaned the house he lit a candle and he found the coin hear me child of God if you need an encounter you must be hungry for research we live in a generation that we don't see encounter because there are two elements that best encounter hunger and anger hunger and anger hunger and anger you must be hungry you must be angry am i communicating right now a pastor sent me a message spoke to me how on sunday morning in service someone slumped in this church and died died was taken from the church to the mortuary to the mob and i just finished service on sunday so i said to him can we talk in the morning i have a crowd to attend to so in the morning i called him some minutes to 10. i said hello son yes papa i said what are you doing he said i'm eating you are eating somebody died on sunday monday you are eating somebody an abuse to your calling and you are eating an embarrassment to your calling you are eating i said i didn't expect you to eat for the next seven days someone died in church and you are eating food there are people that are not hungry for god at all everything is just normal to them normal you're married to a pastor and all you care about is fashion all you care about is mama mommy carrying the handbag come on come on come on the honor you should command should not be because of your husband should be because of the hand of god they can see in your life come on come on come on am i talking to somebody here i was in canada preaching the gospel and i was asking god for the next session in the morning the lord said you are not preaching let my daughter preach i said who is said, your wife okay i said good for me i jumped on the bed i said i want to sleep she said what's the matter i said god said you are preaching what why did you tell me on time i said i just told you now good night <laughs> and i slept off hey i had a good sleep I woke up in the morning just had fellowship i wasn't preaching so no stress at fellowship through the night she didn't sleep she was praying i said good for you <laughs> good for you and she was praying and praying and praying and praying and praying and when it was time for the meeting i just sat down she took the mic when the power of god hit the building i became an usher because the pastors were under the chair and i saw everybody running around her touch me touch me touch me i said what this woman wants to take ministry from me i said what is this why she was about rounding up i said give me the microphone there is somebody here ah. oh. Oh. <laughs> let me leave my signature here there is i began to prophesy and i got back and she laughed say what were you doing that i said are you all right who is the husband between two of us for what you know it's so shameful some people are not challenged even some men your wife is on fire it doesn't bother you i thank god i have a very prayerful wife what a shame on you your wife is praying and you are sleeping my wife is a prayer warrior my wife is a prayer warrior how can your wife wake you up he said this is what god is showing me he said amen amen you didn't see it at all anything your wife tells you god is showing should be a confirmation of what you have already seen a confirmation encounter a pastor who prays one hour a day is that one a pastor is that a pastor pastor who reads one chapter of the bible is that a pastor you should be in the children's church cleaning chair Jesus said, could you not watch with me at least one hour? 
could you not watch at least so those who pray for an hour are least they are least they are least come on you have no other life you have no other strength you have no other defense you have nobody pray when things are good pray when things are bad pray when you want to turn around pray when you need a lifted pray and he speak a parable unto this earth the man ought to pray and not to fail pray in the morning pray i like what david said in psalm 55 verse 16 and 17 he said but as for me i will call upon god and the lord will save me evening and morning and at noon you pray three times every day evening and morning and at noon will i pray i will cry aloud he shall hear my voice in psalm chapter 4 and verse 1 he said hear me when i call oh god my righteousness in luke 11 verse 1 teach us to pray as john taught his disciples to pray in luke 18 and verse 1 man ought always to pray and not to faint in psalm 65 verse 2 thou that yearest prayer unto thee shall all flesh come the bible says in acts chapter 6 verse 4 we will give ourselves to prayers and to the ministry of the word of god it is time to pray psalm 18 verse 3 i will call upon the lord who is worthy to be praised so shall i be saved from my enemies jeremiah 33 and verse 3 call upon me and i will answer you and i will show you great and mighty things which thou knoweth not Isaiah 65 24 before you call I will answer while you are speaking I will hear we are a generation of men that pray we are a generation of men that puts the devil on the run that is why hell is angry with us that is why witchcraft are angry with us that is why Satan has done lose against us we are men of prayer we trouble hell we trouble hell we trouble hell we trouble we trouble hell, 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 we trouble hell. Encounter. Moses' life was roller coaster until encounter came. Number one, encounter gives direction. Encounter gives direction. Nothing gives a man direction like encounter. Stop making decisions without direction. Every decision should be on the platform of direction. Don't make decision out of just wishful thinking, out of mechanical planning. It should be on the platform of an encounter where your life has been tabled out god has told you what to do you know the next step to take you know the next turn to go because you have gotten an encounter it takes encounter to count it takes encounter to begin a journey there are people god brings into your life he brings them on the platform of the assignment that he has given to you if you study your bible in luke chapter 10 the bible said there was a man who was on a journey he fell among thieves and the bible says he was wounded he was beaten he was bruised the bible says that a levi saw him and the levi went the other way he said a priest saw him and the priest walked the other way he said but a samaritan on a journey saw him and helped him and people are critical of the priest people are critical of the levi they say how come it was a samaritan that helped him the man was on a journey when he was attacked the priest could not help him because the priest was not on the journey. The Levi could not help him because the Levi was not on the journey. Only the Samaritan on the journey because it takes a man on the journey to help a man on the journey. There are people in your life now that God wants to take out because they have nowhere they are going. There are people in your life that God wants to take out. They have nowhere! You evaluate an anointing you hear me you evaluate personally you evaluate an anointing by the level of impact you can see in your life the level of the direct impact you can see am i communicating now direction direction when you have that encounter 
the power. He both says in Proverbs 3, verse 5, Trust in the Lord with all thy heart. Lean not to thy own understanding. The six in all your ways, acknowledge. The acknowledge, acknowledgement is the place of encounter. You see, and it shall direct. Hear me, child of God. Encounter is the joker of champions. Men who you see move with speed are moving on the platform of encounter. If you study your Bible, there was no time in scripture that the Bible gave the children of Israel victory on the same pr principle. Sometimes we say stretch your rod. Sometimes we say get the tambourines. Sometimes we say begin to sing. Sometimes Elisha will say bring me cruise let me put salt in water it was a function of encounter men like Issachar the sons of Issachar were men because they understood their time and they knew what Israel was to do and their brethren was at their command the men of Issachar were just 200 men and there was an army of 32,000 an army of 22,000 an army of 14,000 but just 200 men they knew what to do they Control men of 32,000, men of 22,000. Why? Because they had encounter. Encounter best relevance. Encounter best progression. Encounter makes you a high flyer. Pastor, brother, at the end of this meeting, get back to your, your county. Turn off your phone, lock your doors. Say, Lord, until I see you, I'm not coming out until i meet with you i'm not coming out god forbid that i will preach a gospel without miracles god forbid god forbid do you know the, the, the first time i got a visa to europe i got a visa to france no invitation visa on ground nobody invited me nothing i went to france i stayed for four days i was just going around looking at buildings looking at cars I was even not impressed because in my country I saw bigger cars. All the cars I was seeing, they were small, small, small cars. And Nigeria, I used to be, I used to big things. Big, big things. Massive things. Mighty things. So when I got there, I just, mm, I got back. I went a second time with my wife. We held our hands walking the streets of Paris. Just looking and going into shop and window shopping. Seeing nice things, we couldn't buy them. And I told her, I said, I feel bad. They said, why? As I just came here now, no program. He said, don't worry, a day is coming. We just got married then. And we got back. One day I prayed for some hours. I got angry. I took my passport. I told them, I'm going to Paris. He said, who invited you? I said, I invite myself. I went there. Stayed in one ramshackled apartment. That was the hotel. That was a hostel. One ramshackled building like that. With small size bed. And I prayed my heart out. And I was just praying in the street. And I saw a church opened. And I walked to the church. There were less than 30 people. I sat at the last seat. It was a very cold prayer meeting. Very cold. The prayer was more cold than the weather. Very cold. I was praying in the Holy Ghost at the back seat. And the pastor made a mistake. He said, we want to round up everybody, hold hands together. So the usher said to me, I should come to the, the, the where there were two people. So I moved in between, held them. While I was praying, when I opened my eyes, both of them were on the ground. So some others came and gave me their hand. They were on the ground. And people were just falling. The pastor came to me and gave me the mic. He said, who are you? I said, I'm an apostle. He said, round up. <laughs> I'm telling you, over 18 years ago, about almost 18 years ago, and I took the mic. I prophesied on everybody one by one. I finished. I went around again. He gave me the mic. He said, round up. I was with the mic for more than two hours. And he, 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 he said to me, he said, we have a vigil tomorrow. I don't know what your schedule is if you are busy. I said, well, I am busy, but I would. I said, I would. <laughs> I will work something out. I will see what I can do. He said, okay, can we go and drop you? I said, no, no, don't follow me. Don't follow me. They must not know where I stay. <laughs> they must not see my tiny bed. 
I said, don't follow me, don't follow me. So I said, no, 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 no. You know, you know, this place I stay, uh, is, is one kind of place that they don't allow too many people to come. He said, can we relocate you to somewhere closer? I said, well, well, I'll manage. You know, there are some of you on your day of greatness. Make sure you are very good in marketing. It's your mouth. Your mouth is not only for food; it's for marketing. You, you see what Joseph did after interpreting the dream for Pharaoh. Pharaoh said, "What do we do?" He said, "Pharaoh, can we find such a man who is very discreet, a man in whom the spirit of the gods is?" What was he doing? He was marketing himself. Oh. And I minister that night. God came down. God glorified Himself. And pastors came. Say, can you on Sunday? Can you just come for like five minutes? Time. I said, you know, you know, my hands are full. My hands are. Full. When there is a will, there is a way. When there is a will, there is a way. You are struggling in Kenya, not because Kenya is hard. You are struggling because you are cold. You are struggling in Kenya, not because the soil is hard. There are no dry land. There are only dry men. Anywhere a king sit is a throne. You can have a throne in Mombasa. You can have a throne in Nakuru. You can have a throne anywhere. You can have a throne in Nairobi. You can have a throne anywhere. You can advance. You can appear and that's why if you see any omega pastor i mean true omega pastor who has the father at heart they are crazy people because i tell them you've got to set yourself on fire and let the people see you burning yeah me child of god we are in the generation of greatness you need an encounter to count you need an encounter to accelerate you need an encounter for direction somebody say i received direction i received the bell. say i received direction i received the rain the labor of the foolish where yet every one of them for he knoweth not how to go into the city the problem is not the city the problem is not the labor the problem is the how that is why you are weary you don't know how that is why you are struggling you don't know how to go into the city I want to know how to achieve destiny. I want to know how to appear in my place of rest. I want to know how to arrive at the place of my assignment. I want to know how. He took off his shoes when the encounter came he took off his shoes he took off his shoes because he couldn't believe that the angels of the lord had come to him anytime you start feeling qualified you lose grace anytime you start feeling qualified anytime you feel entitled somebody said to me why are you so humble why do you relate with people why are you so open to people i said because who am i that grace found me who am i that god called me who am i that god anointed me paul said in first corinthians 15 10 i am what i am by the grace of god one day we are driving out of the church in a convoy and the lady shouted you are wicked is this how you are you are wicked I said, stop the car, stop the car. I wind down the glass. I said, what's going to say? You are wicked. Me? How? He said, I came all the way from just, just in northern part of Nigeria. I mean, it's like almost 10 hours or more by road. He said, I came once, I came twice, I came, I came the first time. I stayed for days. I couldn't see you right before my eyes. You drove off. I came, this is my third time. And you are driving off again. You are wicked. I told them, turn the convoy. I said, come, ma. She came. I came down from the car. I sat down. And I said, why did you come? And after five minutes, she was done. I said, five minutes, you will talk. You must talk. I turned the convoy because of you. He said, that's why I came. I said, start thinking. Think! 
you drove for 10 hours so pour everything i want to hear you i want to listen to you as a minister of god as a businessman as a ceo of a company you must understand that is by the grace of god you don't bully people you don't oppress people you don't curse people you don't pronounce evil words on people how dare you who made you a god over man am i talking to somebody here it doesn't matter what people do they are pencils in the hand of god do you know what i've been through in my life do you know the battles i have seen do you know what people have done to me when i look at them i smile yeah me child of god there is a dimension of god that gratitude brings you must understand that you are favored to be blessed to be the ceo of that company let your workers be happy you are their boss don't let people be coming to work and they're afraid am i talking to somebody here there was a pastor he had the anointing of suspension he suspend everybody who come to church say all the choir members suspension you see i'm so angry this morning i saw a dream all protocol suspension the man suspended everybody until on a sunday he suspended his wife you see i said nobody should come late and mommy came late this is ministry this is not family mommy suspension the wife didn't see anything when they got home at night he came to the bed i was about to touch the wife the wife said honey suspension you are equally suspended am i communicating right now it is the grace of god it is the grace of god love people he's pulled off his shoes he said i'm not qualified i am not qualified i don't i don't feel worthy there are so many people with entitlement mentality entitlement stop it stop it you have somebody working under you make them feel valued you criticize everything they do they are never right make them feel valued there are people today their their error is amplified and their effort is simplified make people feel valued he took off his shoes he said i'm not qualified you are what you are by the grace of god when i see men of god or talented people who are proud i'm confused in fact when you are talented or you are anointed and you are proud god and the devil are confused over you yes the anointing is not your own the talent is not yours breath breath breathing is not yours the life is not so where is the pride coming from i don't understand it where is the pride you're a gospel artist for people to host you you will stress their life um i stay in the five-star hotel i don't drink um normal water just gonna get me freshly squeezed orange in a bottle I'll manage then get me um, some fresh fresh salad in the morning then at noon chicken and chips keep your gift keep your gift I'm a dangerous giver but you must if you give me a bill you are not coming don't give me a bill just come there are those who have come and I embarrass them. There are those who have come as they are living. I give them chips, give them cars. But if you give me a bill, you are not coming. No, you are not coming. You, you, you stress people, make people feel uncomfortable. Stop it. You're a man of God, look up to heaven. Stop harassing people with tight issues. Where is your tight? Stop. When you touch people's life, you don't tell them what to do. Touch their life. Focus on touching their lives. Touch their lives. Too many gimmicks. 
you collect money for this you collect money for that you have become a herbalist no i some people are not happy with me right now you are not happy with me does it matter if you are not happy it doesn't change it you didn't call me you don't pay me you can't fire me have you seen do you know the kind of church we have in, in nigeria the kind of church we have back at Hokota? people look forward to church with happiness people look forward to church i've seen people run to me papa 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 i said stop the car they just came i said what's the matter i said what i just like to see your face so you you stop <laughs> several times papa 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 i said stop 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 there's a problem they just run oh papa look at papa people are happy in your office let people come to work excited smiling gather them pray with them let them know they have a future let them know they have a destiny let them know that where they are working now they, they should be comfortable let them know that company is their company they should take it like that come make them free make people happy there is a way you are in a neighborhood that when you are parking out people are crying but there are some people currently in the neighborhood people are praying for them to go Father, send him away. 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 By fire. By fire. Send him away. He and his wife and his five children. Go. 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 <laughs> Am I communicating here? Number two and then I'll pray. Encounter brings divine presence. God said, I will go with you. So nothing, nothing brings assurance of divine presence like encounter. When he shows you his face, he stays with you. When he reveals himself to you, he goes with you. Encounter is the platform for divine presence. You need the presence of God. Cain was released to the worst when he left the presence of God. Genesis 4, 7, Genesis 4, 17. I like what Moses said, Exodus 30, 33, 14, 15, 16. He said, if your presence does not go with us, carry us not hither. Divine presence. Psalm 16, 11, That will show me the path of life. For in thy presence there is fullness of joy. And thy right hand are pleasures evermore. Psalm 51, 11, The Bible says, Cast me not away from thy presence presence acts 3 verse 19 for the time of refreshing shall come from the presence of the lord isaiah 63 verse 8 and 9 the angel of his presence saved us i'm talking about the presence of elohim look at what the bible says in job chapter 2 verse 2 job chapter 1 verse 8 verse 9 and verse 10 he said and the sons of men came to present themselves before the presence of god you need the presence of god the presence of god is the unveiled power of god the presence of god is the revealed glory of god whatever cannot stand god's presence cannot stand god's people the might of god is the presence of elohim he said to him i will go with you i will go i am that i am he said who are you i am that i am he said i revealed myself to abraham isaac and jacob in the name of god almighty Papa, my name, jehovah i was not made known unto them i'm talking about the presence of elohim el elion el Gibor, the multi-breasted one the one that sits on the circuits of the earth and the sons of men as grasshopper the one that walks upon the wings of the wind the one that laid the beams of his chambers upon the water the lamb of god seven eyes and seven on the standing lamb that has a bride the one that says a thing and it doesn't fall to the ground he is the same yesterday he's the same today he's the same forever oh. when god says yes yeah. the man can say no. no when god lifts you up ah. no man can bring you down no. god is on your side hey. power is on your side hey. glory is on your side hey. somebody shout fire, yeah, yeah, yeah. fire. be upstanding be upstanding be upstanding ah. i just had a whisper in my right ears 
any one of you under the sound of my voice who someone placed a curse on as i'm standing on this altar i reverse it i cancel the curse maybe because of the curse you have been seeing things go bad because of the curse things have been going upside down I stand as God's servant to make a declaration. The curse is turned to a blessing. Amen. I said, Amen. the curse is turned to a blessing. Amen. The curse is turned to a blessing. Amen. Somebody shout, yeah, 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 yeah. So, what is the take home? from this meeting every one of you get back to whatever county you came from take out a day just say today is me and god i want to have an encounter i have one life to live i must know this god for myself i must know him take the bible begin to eat it he said thy word we have found jeremiah 15 16 thy word we have found and i did eat them and they began rejoicing to my soul i am called by thy name most high begin to eat it begin to study and this i've said this over time that any believer that doesn't know scriptures in tandem with his age is an irresponsible believer you don't know scripture in sem semblance you are 50 years you can't bring 50 scriptures you are an irresponsible disaster a monumental gargantua humongous gianomos <laughs> you are 60 you don't know 60 scriptures at all something is wrong somewhere a herbalist is, uh, is known by reason of the incantations. When you say chronic herbalist, he will give you incantations, enchantment. Whenever we are releasing scriptures, quotation is enchantment. <laughs> Who is it that say yet a thing and it come to pass when the Lord command? When you are dispersing scripture, you are enchanting. You are making invocations. Am I communicating? 25 years of Christianity. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in memory verse. Memory verse. For God so loved the world. Yeah. Today's lesson, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him. What is the memory verse of today? And Jesus wept. No, somebody was somebody was studying the bible these eyes studies his bible who just anywhere he opens he catch a glimpse and he reads so what he did one day he opened his bible like this and he saw and judas went to hang himself god forbid he covered it he opened it again he saw go and do likewise so god forbid he opened it again Whatever thou wouldest do, do it quickly. He said, No. No Bible today. <laughs> you study the Bible systematically. Start, start from Genesis. Chapter 1, chapter 2. Chap get to 50. Start from Exodus. I've gone through this Bible 51 times. Every page. Oh, you are clapping for me. What? Where? It's not an accolade. It should be a challenge. 51. 51. My pastors here have got into my bedroom. They've entered my bedroom. There's nothing I hide. They see my Bible on my bed. Several versions. God help you. You clean my room. And you remove my Bible from the position I kept it. My wife walks into my room. He says, please. 
can you move your second wife to the corner he said i want to lie down here just move your second wife i said to her this is my life this is my life yet the word of a king is there is power what shall you imagine against the lord he shall make another end Nahum, Nahum chapter 1 verse 9 you must be addicted for every situation you must have a scripture do you know there's no sickness without symptom is that true every sickness has so every believer must have a scripture you must have a ready made ready scripture to confront the powers that be are you ready to pray you will cry for an encounter lord i need an encounter i need an encounter say my father my father my father, my father. Shout it loud and clear. My father, my father. Let the devil hear your voice. My father, my father. As I begin to pray. As I begin to pray. I need an encounter. I need an encounter. Open your mouth and try your prayer. Refatima ne kote saliya. Kote lekete 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 lekete
Oh. Oh. Can you lift your two hands toward heaven? Tonight is miracles and encounters. Everyone sick in body. The devil is a liar. The devil is in trouble. The devil is in trouble. The devil is in trouble. Is in trouble. Amen. Because miracles are going to break forth. There is some man by the name of Hanu. Hanu. I'm seeing your father on crutches. I'm hearing Hanu. Koriri. 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 Hanu. If there's somebody by that, like, by that name, you'll come now. If there's anybody like that, I want to pray for you. Who is Esther? A chair, a chair, a chair, a chair, a chair, a chair, a chair. The glory of God is going to sit on you. Amen. I'm seeing several blind people at the emergency there. And some on the wheelchairs and some deaf, dumb and all of that. There's an anointing here. Amen. Healing is going to flow. Amen. The hand of God. Is that you, man? Come this way. I'm going to pray for you. And I'm going to ask God that an encounter that will give your life direction. That will open you to divine presence. <laughs> An encounter. And temper last sukrash day. Woman, let the grace of God shine on you. Amen. Woman, let the grace of God. Who is Tom? Who is Tom? My husband. Let the grace of God. Amen. God said to tell you. And someone can connect to this. That is giving you rest. Amen. Amen. I'm seeing two children with you. And I want to pray. Brian. Brian is my son. Huh? My son. Emily. Emily is my daughter. Hallelujah. Is where is Emily? Emily is here. Where is she? I don't know where she is sitting, but she's here. Emily. Emily. Who is Judy? Mwede. Mwede Judy. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I don't know what I'm saying. You're looking. See the way you love me. See the way you care for me. You carry my matter for your head. Oh, he me will a song like a little baby. Mm -hmm. You watch a baby. Oh, oh. You know they carry me, they play. Oh, he me will a song. What am I living for without encounter? 
Life does not begin the day you are born. Life begins the day you have an encounter. I was a preacher. I was saved for years. But it got to a time I locked the door. I said I must encounter God. I started fasting. One day, no food. Two day, no food. Three day, no food. Four days, no food. No food, no water. Five days, no food. Six days, no food. Seven days, no food. Eight days, no food. No food, no water. Nine days, no food. Ten days, eleven days of no food, no water. I couldn't walk well. I don't advise you to try it. But that's what I did. I, could, I said, I would rather die if I don't see you. And I saw a vision. I saw A, C, T, S, 1, 0, 3, 8. When I saw that revelation, I opened my eyes. I took pen. I wrote it A, C, T, S, 1, 0, 3, 8. Acts 10, 38. He said, that's your ministry. Our God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and power. Who went up? So you see me go about. I'm in the place of my assignment. I'm so relaxed because I'm doing what he said I should do. And I tried to break that day. I took liquid on the twelfth day. Like the brightness of the sun. I saw Jesus walk into the room. Like the brightness of the sun. Walk in. So peaceful. When he comes so peaceful. He smiled. And began to talk to me. He smiled. I said. Until I see him. Until I see him. Until I see him. It's time for you to be hungry. The value. Of life is tied to your encounter with him nothing bet relevance value virtue expression like encounter with god when they hurry these days every life has now been so configured in such a way that everything is done in a hurry don't go to the bank go to an mtm don't bother to go and prepare food prepare indomie Mac macaroni, is it macaroni? Noodles. Everything is in a hurry now. Everything, hurry, hurry. It has taken away depth. Because to encounter him, you must spend time. Time. Am I communicating? Lift your hands. If you are sick in body now, I command the sickness to jump out of you now. Amen. If you are blind, your eyes be open now. Amen. If you came here on the walking aid, you couldn't walk, rise up on your feet, raise up that walking aid, and begin to walk in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Receive your sight in the name of Jesus. Amen. Receive your sight in the name of Jesus. Amen. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let broken bones be mended. Amen. Let broken bones be mended. Amen. Let broken bones be mended. Yes. Usher, take care of those people. Anyone here believing God for a child, you are fruitful in the name of Jesus. Amen. I command growth. Oh. I command fibroids. Oh. I command tumor. Oh. I command HIV. Oh. I command pile. Oh. I command myopia. Oh. I command hypermetropia. Oh. I command tube blockage. Oh. I command kidney problem. Oh. Liver sclerosis. Oh. I command growth. Oh. Sugar diabetes. Oh. Myopia. Oh. Hypermetropia. Oh. Glaucoma. Oh. Cataract. Oh. Partial blindness. Oh. Total blindness. Oh. Stroke. Oh. Paralysis. Oh. Appendicitis. Oh. Hyenia, kidney problem, How? liver sclerosis, How? multiple sclerosis, How? cerebral palsy. How? Come out in the name of Jesus. Hey! Heart disease is gone. Amen. Heart disease is gone. Amen. High blood pressure is gone. Amen. Hypertension is gone. Amen. 
be healed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Miracles, lift your hands now. Miracles are happening as I pray for an encounter. I want to pray for an anointing. The grace to stay in his presence. It's an impartation. There are people that are going to receive it like fire. Amen. All you sons and daughters of the prophet, hold hands. Let me pray for you first. Lift it up. All the SOB, hold hands, lift it up. Mm -hmm. Lift it up. Take your glasses off, sir. Right now. Lift it up. I transfer on you Mercy. an impartation uh. that we bet a hunger for the presence of Elohim to encounter the sovereign Lord. Lord, at a count of three, make them drunk in power. At a count of three, give them a baptism of grace. Every one of them be touched with the anointing. One! Glory of God, touch my sons and daughters. Two! I decree a baptism of fire. Three! Fresh, 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 fresh! Fresh grace, fresh impartation. Fresh impartations. Fresh, fresh. Pack! Fresh impartations. Fresh impartations. Fresh grace. Are you ministers? All dance together. All dance together. Lift it up. All of you on this row, all dance together. Way to the back. All dance. Miracles are happening. Miracles. All dance together. Way to the back. Left and right. Way to the back. Lift it up. Way to the back. To the crowd of the extension. Hallelujah. Lift it up. Holy Spirit, these are your people. There are people here you have ordained for a fresh anointing for the miraculous, the prophetic, an encounter with God. Holy Ghost, locate your servant, ah. locate your sons, your daughter, oh. with your power and your glory right now huh. in the name of Jesus. I release the grace upon you. Pack! Hey. Take it, take it. Pack! Hey. Fresh, 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 ah. fresh fire. Fresh grace, fresh anointing, oh. fresh empowerment, oh. fresh grace. Yeah. So many miracles. Ah. Power. Power. He did it, 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 he did it. When I say encounter, you will shout, I receive. We'll do that three times. And at the third time, from the choir to the crowd to the ministers, there's going to be a release of fire. When I say encounter, you will shout, I receive. Three times. When I say encounter, I, at the third time, the Holy Ghost will invade this place. Encounter! I receive. Oh. Encounter! I receive. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Encounter! I receive! Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. 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 I receive! I receive! I receive! Help them! Help them wherever they are. There is power everywhere. Help them everywhere. Everywhere in the crowd, everywhere. At the overflows, help them. There is power everywhere. Ako prikato, kaprikato, kaprikato, Miracles everywhere. Miracles happening in the crowd. Everywhere. Amen. Tell me, what is that? Papa, sir. This woman came with the doctor from Kayoli. From where? From Kayoli. Kayo what? Kayoli. Kayori. Kayole Nairobi. Kayoli. Kayole Nairobi. Okay. Papa, sir. She said six months ago, this one was attacked. The doctor was attacked with insanity. Insanity. And when she talked to the doctor, I thought I would start laughing. She would be laughing. She was just laughing. She was just laughing. And since then, she's been like that. So why you are ministry, the power of God came upon the doctor. She examined the daughter, she stopped laughing and responded well. So when she, are restored. Yes, when she was dancing, and we, we, the sister beside her asked her, what's it? He said the daughter was mad. And she also has a son that has been mad for three years. 
for that two years. That one was an attack first. Papa, sir, why did she, we are examining this one. She went outside to tell the, those at home that the doctor has been healed. As they now asked, she called them and asked them, how is their son? Their son collected the phone and, and answered the call. That Hallelujah. They had, I Hallelujah. Said, I said she's fine. And the son was mad at home for three years. For three years, and when the, the daughter was brought here mad for six months, six months, six months, and the daughter got healed now. He, the, the son at home, she went to call them to tell them the daughter is okay, and, and she asked about the son. He and the son the took the phone from them uh, and, and became, responded by himself. Sanity gone. Insanity gone. Hallelujah. The son is healed. Thank you, Lord. Glorious God, beautiful King, excellent God, I bow before your throne. Papa, another testimony here. Tell me. Papa, sir, this mama was involved in an accident 20 years ago. Papa, since then, she could not move her neck. Well, she's been in pain. And she also had a problem with her sight. While you were ministry, you said, you gave a prophetic order that somebody with a problem with the sight has just been healed. Her sight is restored now. The pain disappeared. The Hallelujah. growth at the back. The growth. The growth at the neck just disappeared. There was a growth there. A growth on the it neck. It has disappeared. It has disappeared. What She's are you just Hallelujah. looking at? Hallelujah. Shout Jesus! Jesus! Glorious God! Uh -huh. Beautiful King, excellent God, I bow before your glorious God, glorious God, beautiful King, beautiful King, excellent God, excellent God, I bow before you your glorious God, glorious God. Beautiful King, excellent God, I bow before your glorious God, glorious God, beautiful King, excellent God, excellent God, I bow before your glory, I bow before your Papa, sir, this woman came from South B. South what? South B. She said for 25 years, she's been using glasses. And she could not see clearly without glasses for 25 years. Without the glasses. Without the glasses. Papa, while you are ministry, the power of God came upon her. She fell under the anointing. She stood up, removed her glasses. Said she can see you from, she can see from her seat on the altar. She will see you. Her sight's fully restored. Fully restored. Give the Lord a clap offering there. Hallelujah. <laughs> She can see clearly now. I speak a blessing of God upon you. That from now your life will begin to count. Amen. I speak direction. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. For every Omega child, tomorrow morning by nine, I'm going to be with you. Is this South B? South B. Shimo. Shimo Latewa Road. Along Lusaka Road number 10. Shimo Latewa Road. Along Lusaka Road number 10. So by 9 in the morning, every Omega child, meet me there. I'm going to be blessing you, praying for you. And also, we have Omega Family Seat at Kariobangi. Roundabout, Outrin Road. Is it, did I say that well? 
Omega Fire Ministries also Nakuru. Omega Fire Ministries Mombasa. All right, so every one of you, I'll be with you tomorrow morning to pray with you and to bless you and to lay hands on all of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Right where you are tonight, you say, Apostle, I want to make peace with God. I need Jesus in my life. Nobody's sitting down. If you are sitting down, you are a terrorist. I need Jesus in my life. I want Jesus. This is the essence of this meeting. Jesus. You want to make peace with God and you want Jesus in your life. You want me to pray with you. As you surrender your will and your emotions, your life to Jesus. Pick up this girl. Intelegrutishe see. You are going to become the voice in your family. I want to pray for you, lady, that the hand of God. What is Endoret? Endoret. Endoret is where I school. Huh? Is where I school. I see a wind of grace blowing. <laughs> Who is Faith? My sister. Huh? My sister. Who is Nuru? No, no, no. Nora. Nora. My sister. Who is Grace? My sister. Hallelujah. Today, come and put your two hands on the altar. Touch the altar. Come. Touch the altar. I ask that in the next two months, your life will be a wonder. Amen. And everyone that the sound of my voice, your life be a wonder. Amen. Look at me. From I need you to, from the first of April, be on the fast, first, second, third, and tell God that let the doors open. You don't understand what I'm saying. On the 31st, it's very important to you. Academically. On the 31st. Yes. Academically. Yes. It's very important. Yes, I'm it, going to graduate on that day. Huh? I'm going to graduate on that day. You are graduating day. on that day. Yes. On the first, declare first. First, second, third. Someone can personalize this too. But I'm, I'm hearing, I should tell you. There is someone God is bringing that will take you to the United States. Amen. Rest. Amen. Rest has come. In the name of Jesus. Right Amen. where you are, you want to make peace with God. This is why I came. This is why I came. This is why I came. You say, I want to make peace with God. I need God in my life. I want to be sure of the sound of the trumpet. I want to know Jesus. If you're in that category, I'd like you to raise your right hand. You want to make peace with God. I'm going to count to five. As your hands are raised up, you will come here. I'm going to count to five. As your hands are raised up, you will come here. One. Come. 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 So where's no king? So pretty. Giyata, gatia, tia. Come, come, come. Is that the flag? Bring the flag. Down in Jesus' name. Come up, Michael. Your elections are this year. Yes. Can I tell you? Yes. I was praying, and the Lord said to me that the stone the builders rejected. Yes. Listen. Listen, officially, 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 Kenya is going to be publicly called a Christian nation. <laughs> listen, listen, <laughs> listen, yes, sir. listen, yes, sir. listen, it's going to start by going the other way.
it's going to start by going the other way it will be shaky turning it will turn back <laughs> listen to me wait 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 some some of you are recording record you are free to record record i know why you are recording you are free to record you are free but but listen pray because what i saw isn't good at all so many dead bodies dead bodies everywhere so i want all of you pastors as you get back to your location declare four sundays of mercy lord have mercy upon kenya lord have mercy four what sundays of mercy 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 that god should have mercy even one life is too important to be lost life life a human being life no political ambition is strong enough to sacrifice a human life life so don't fight or be angry at the leadership now god also brought them to do what they are doing so also love them pray for them but understand something power belongs to god those of you in front of me i'd like you to just lift your hands while i pray for you see after me lord jesus i come to you tonight just as i am have mercy on me forgive me my sins write my name in the book of life i believe in my heart i confess with my mouth that jesus is my lord and savior i'm born again in jesus name give the lord a hand for them what's the matter papa sir miracles are still happening this child is was born with cerebral palsy cerebral palsy i mentioned that when i was praying yes sir you gave the prophetic word Papa, as soon as you said that, the child that the body was stiff, the back was curved. The, 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 back, could not was, the back was curved. curved. Yes, curved. The, body, the whole body is stiff. And could not hold his neck. He lifted his head and started looking at the mother's face. But I was shocked. The body that touched the back that was curved and stiff, the back became straight. The child now is hid. The bone was curved. The bone was curved, Papa. Now the bone is straight. The bone is straight now. The neck, he could not hold the neck. The neck was falling. Hallelujah. The child lifted the neck. As I looked at the mother's face, the mother was shocked. She didn't understand what was happening. What is happening? And it could at the hand. Could not move the hands. The hands started moving. Jehovah you see the body where? Jehovah Nisi. Jehovah Rebenizer. You are the Adonai. We give you glory, honor, power, majesty. You are the Lord forevermore. Oh, Jehovah Jireh. Jehovah Nisi. Jehovah Rebenizer. You are the Adonai. We give you glory, honor, power, majesty. You are the Lord forevermore. Jehovah Jireh. Jehovah Nisi, you are the Adonai, you are the Adonai. We give you glory, honor, power, majesty. You are the Lord forevermore. Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Ebenezer. You are the Adonai. We give you glory, honor, power, majesty. You are the Lord forevermore. Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Nisi. Jehovah Ebenezer, you are the Adonai. We give you glory, God of our majesty. You are the Lord forevermore. Lord, we pray for Kenya. Yes. We bless Kenya. We bless the men, the women, the boys, the girls, the youths, the teenagers, the children of Kenya. We bless the business people. Amen. But bless the pastors. Amen. But bless the politicians. Amen. But bless the professionals. Amen. But bless the students. Amen. But bless the self-employed. Amen. But bless everyone. Amen. 
We decree, let evil not see this nation. Amen. Let this nation rise and rise and rise and rise and rise and rise. Amen. Concerning their elections, we decree peace. Amen. Mercy. Amen. Mercy, Lord. Amen. Have mercy. Amen. Have mercy. Amen. Have mercy. You disappoint the device of the crafty. Their hand cannot perform their enterprise. They shall surely gather, but not by you. And they shall fall for our sake. Amen. Arise, O Lord. Amen. Let the enemies be scattered. Amen. Glorify yourself. Bless the nation. Bless every family represented here. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Clap your hands, all ye people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uganda I decree go back and dominate 
go back and occupy Amen. go and take charge Amen. be blessed Amen. in jesus name Amen. i'll see you in kampala god bless you go. tanzania those of you from tanzania come Kesuna zwela kaba Hey! Kaliba kana ribi saruna Iyo iyo kavare Iyo kana Kesuna zwela Kesuna zwela kaba Kaliba Kaliba kana ribi saruna Iyo 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 kana Iyo iyo kavare Iyo 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 I speak, the, I speak the blessings of God on you. I decree that for your sake, as you return back to Tanzania, may there be a new beginning. All the closed doors are open. Be blessed. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Kinshasa, Democratic Republic of Congo. I decree, return back with a blessing. May closed doors against to be open. May you begin to enjoy intervention. In Jesus' name. Amen. Where else? South Sudan. South Sudan. South Sudan. Are there people from South Sudan? South Sudan. I decree the blessings of El Shaddai. Hey. The blessings of God on you. Hey. May you prosper. Hey. May you increase on all sides. Hey. May you flourish and do well. Hey. I decree that your closed doors are open. Hey. In Jesus' name. Hey. Amen. Cameroon. Listen, listen, listen. I'm not talking of Cameroonians that live here. I'm talking of those that traveled for the program. Hold on. Those who traveled. So if you live here, you are blessed. You are already blessed. I'm talking of those who traveled down. Zimbabwe. Zim. Lord, I decree upon them the hand of God be on you. I decree you will increase and excel. Amen. I put a cover upon you. Amen. Evil shall not come near you. Amen. You are heavily defended and supernaturally protected. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Where else? United States. Okay. Ooh. Lord, let her return with fire in her bones. Amen. Restoration. Amen. I ask for an impartation of grace upon you for the assignment God has given you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Why are you out? No, 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 no. Are you, where are you from? Huh? Congo Brazzaville. Is there anybody else from there? Congo Brazzaville. Father, I decree a blessing upon her. Grant our desires in Jesus' name. Malawi, I speak grace upon you. I decree an impartation. Amen. Fresh fire. Amen. Grace, grace, touch upon him in Jesus' name. Is that all? How many of you are from Kenya? Azuela <laughs> Kavari. Talima, <laughs> I mentioned